person are here this morning. One is Pastor David Yao, and the other one is Dr. Chong. Pastor David Yao used to us bring this team to Sarawak. That's why we connected. And because of the connection, when we came to Perth, you know, this the natural thing is to worship with FGA. And I was asked to help in the Chinese church. And later on, from FGA, we moved to FGAM. Dr. Chong graciously invited us to join in as part of the team. All right? So from FGA to FGAM to N NCLC. You know? From grandmother, mother to here. <laughs> so that was my involvement. So thank you. Thank you. And I praise God that uh, uh, for these two person that God has sent into my life. This morning I want to say again, blessed ninth anniversary. I remember at the beginning of NCLC, it was not easy. Like everything else, you start small and uh, it was very difficult. We've been through uh, many places and uh, the number goes up and down, up and down until about left a handful. But uh, my head off to the leaders who never gave up, but continue. And today, we see the result of it. This morning, my title is, What Does the Lord Ask of Me? Okay. Just now when Pastor Teresa uh, flashed the verse about loving God you know, with all your heart, I thought she's going to preach my sermon. <laughs> because that's part of the sermon I'm going to share with you. You know, God is good. He, we never talk to each other, but you know, when God wants to give you a, something to share, He makes sure that it is you know, shared. The scripture says, And now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's command and decrees that I am giving you today for your own good. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for the reading of our word. We thank you, God, that your word will come alive because your Holy Spirit is here. The author of the word will instill, inspire into our heart to learn not to just be hearer of the word, but be doer of the word. Thank you, Father, for NCLC and for allowing us to serve you. Lord, this is our ninth year. We know, God, there are many more years to come. So thank you, Father. We ask God right now that we will give you all the honor and glory because you deserve all of it. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So this is the ninth anniversary. Right? As I pray that there will be many more years to come. But I want to ask a question. I want to paraphrase this passage from Deuteronomy. Oh now, and now, O oh NCLC, okay, what does the Lord your God ask of you? Just want to paraphrase that. And now, O oh New Covenant Life Church, what does the Lord your God ask of you on this ninth anniversary? Okay? Scripture is from Deuteronomy. He said, And now all NCLC, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him, to serve Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul, and to observe the Lord's command and decree that I am giving you today for your own good. So here it says that, we are to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him. I want to concentrate on these three words first. To fear, to walk, to love. These are all active action verbs. No? To fear, to walk, to love. They are active, they are action verbs. Verb. You cannot just sit down. You have to act, you have to move, you have to do. Okay? 
to fear, to walk, to love. To fear. The Hebrew is array. It is to reverently respect at all time. To reverently respect God at all time. To walk. It's halak. Okay? And it means it's a daily activity of moving and behaving. It's natural just to walk. All right? It's an everyday activity unless you are incapacitated. To love. Now here I want to share with you, God did not use the agape love, but instead he just said to have affection, to love like friend. Because in the Old Testament, God knows that we cannot love God or love anybody unconditionally because unless God love is put inside us. When you first God first loves us, then we can love. Right? So in the Old Testament, God expects us to love Him like a good friend. So to fear, to walk, to love. So what does the Lord ask of you, NCLC, this day? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, and to love Him. Okay? These are the daily things that we need to do, to fear, to walk, to love. All together. We cannot take any one of those out. God wants us to fear Him, to, love, to walk uh, in His way and to love Him. You know, it's like a three-legged stool. Okay? To fear, to walk, to love. You cannot take any one of those out. You cannot say, okay, I'm just going to fear and walk. Without love, it's going to fall down. Or you can say, oh, I'm just going to love and walk without fear. It will not work. You take any one of those out, you're going to fall face down. Like a three-legged stool. So at all times, we need to fear the Lord. To walk in all His way and to love Him together. Not one or choose to do one or two at a time. We need to do all three. But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in His way, to love Him, and also to serve the Lord your God. Now this is how it is. To fear, to walk, to love. This form the foundation, the basis of serving the Lord. See, we need to fear the Lord res reverently respectful to walk, to love every day before we can serve the Lord. This is the foundation of serving the Lord, to fear Him, to walk with Him, to love Him. Now what is going to happen if you take away the foundation? You can still serve the Lord, serve the Lord out of duty, out of obligation, out of gratification, since the Lord has been so good to you. But you know what's going to happen? If you serve God with this foundation, you're going to get tired. You read my mind. <laughs> you're going to get bitter. And you're going to complain. Why am I doing myself? How come I'm the only one? We're going to complain because we are doing it out of duty, out of obligation, out of gratification. So we need the right foundation to fear, to walk, to love together. Okay? So what does the Lord ask of you? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him and to serve Him, serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Now, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul just means that heart and soul represent the whole person. The whole of you. You cannot just serve God with your hand. You cannot just serve God with your mouth. You've got to serve God wholeheartedly. 100% of you. Everything. Okay? Serve God 100%. So, and now, all NCLC, what does the Lord your God ask of you? 
but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's command and decree that I'm giving you today. To observe. What are we to observe? That is to guard. All right? To guard. To observe the Lord's command and decree. What are the Lord's command and decree? The Lord's command is this. That's why the Pastor Teresa already uh, 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 shared the scripture. He said, We are to love first, love God with all our heart, all our soul, our mind, all our strength, and then to love our neighbor as ourselves. Because this of these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. With all, all the commandments, all the laws and regulations in the Old Testament, Jesus Christ just diluted down to two. Love God with all your heart, soul, strength, everything, and then love your neighbor as yourself. Love. This time is unconditional love, agape love. God wants us to love Him unconditionally as He loves us unconditionally. We cannot do it because out of our own self, we can't do it. But the Bible says when God put His love into us, He first loved us so that we can love also. God, man, and our neighbor. We are to love God first, agape love, and to love our neighbor. So this is the two key. How do we observe His commandment? Love God and love our neighbor. I tell you, loving God is easy. To love our neighbor is a different story. Because love you, God, I say, I'm loving God. Nobody knows. But to love your neighbor, everybody knows. So, to love God with all your soul, to observe the Lord's command and decrees. Why? That I'm giving you today for your own good. For your own good. I'm always very uh, interviewed by God's word. God's word is true. He said, I've given you all this. Why? Because it is for your own good. I'm giving you this today for your own good. Everything that God gives or desires for us to do is for our own good. That's why God loves us so much. He loves us unconditionally. It's not for His good, it's for our own good. Okay? Remember that. For your own good. Every temptation, every obstacle, every suffering we have to go through, it is for our own good. God will be there to turn around whatever difficulty, whatever temptation, whatever suffering you have to go through to benefit His children as you and me. It's always for our own good. Because He loved us so much that He even sent His begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Undeservedly. We, don't, we do not deserve it. Unconditionally. That's why for our own good. Romans 8.28 say, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them that are called according to His purpose. God is there for us. It is for our own good. So now, and now, all NCLC, what does the Lord your God ask of you today? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His way, to love Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and to observe the Lord's command and decree that I am giving you today for your own good. 
Now we can do something before I end. All NCLC members, if you consider yourself to be part of this church, I want you to stand up. Outside also, can you please stand up? If you are part of this body of Christ, would you stand up with me? Outside also, because I want you to recite. I want you to declare. Are we ready? All those who are NCLC, all right? When you stand, and we will read, declare this one together. Can we do it? Can you read? Can you hear? Can you see? Let's do it together. One, two, three. I will fear the Lord my God to walk in all His way, to love Him, to serve the Lord my God with all my heart and with all my soul and to observe the Lord's command and decree from today and forevermore. Amen. Can you remain standing while I ask Dr. Chong to come and pray? When I pray, I must say something first. Uh, I think it's not fair for all of you be standing. Will you please be seated for a while? After uh, Pastor Sim can ask them to stand again. <laughs> you know, uh, recently I heard the prayer pastor of, of Pastor Margaret Court Church and spoke. She said in the 70s, the wind of the charismatic wind was blowing. And at the time, FGA marketplace, uh, FGA Perth was just starting and the prophet came and talked to us. He said, when the wind is blowing, you set a sail. And we set a sail and we saw the charismatic wind blowing and the church grew and many of us here were actually blessed in those days. And signs and wonders were coming. And we, we had that. And as a result, I can see that now, down through the years, although things have happened, many of us have suffered a lot, most of us here. But I'm glad to see that because there was a strong wind blowing, we caught the wind, many of us have survived. And I, I sit down here, I see, I look around in Perth, I saw many of us who have suffered a lot of things, but we have survived and we are still actively involved. We praise God for that. And this pastor was saying that she says now there's another gust of wind coming forth. And I believe that that's going to happen. And as, as the prophet came to our church in those days, I feel that I'm here now to suggest to you if you have not already been caught in this wind, the wind is blowing. That NCLC set a sail and sail into a supernatural life again where signs and wonders will come when spirit few people will be singing and praising God and we see signs and wonders to see demons cast out you mm -hmm. see psh, emotional trauma physical illnesses be healed with the word of God may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord look at you and smile at you and say that he is pleased with you he bless you god bless this assembly these people who serve you faithfully through thick and thin but then the wind is blowing set the sail amen oh please stand again those nclc members yeah <laughs> yes i think yeah. uh, Teresa, you come and bless your people. He never changed. <laughs> he never changed. He's still the same, put you on spot every time. Dr. Chong, Auntie Goldie, thank you so much. So we're really honored that you are here. And uh, with all the things that you have done, you know, I remember sitting down with you and telling me of what, what to do and not to do. <laughs> thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Today, Lord, as well, what Dr. Chong has said, Lord, we are ready. And let us be ready, Lord. 
Let our hearts, O oh Lord Father, be ready for that sail that you're going to move us. It is you who's going to make it, Lord. That even as, Lord, as we come with you together, whatever storm, let us be still and know that you are God. So, Lord, we bless you. We thank you for today. That this church, as we have said, Lord, the agenda of this church, that you will hear us lifting the name of Jesus, and it is you who will draw all men unto you. So, God, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you thank once you. again, Dr. Chong. Yeah. Can you see that, please?